What's going on everyone? My name is Legit Brett and we are back at it with some more nerf news. Man, we've been blessed with the amount of nerf news that we've been getting these past few weeks. Once again, like always, thank you to Blaster Hub for the clean and crisp articles, and thank you to the people on Baidu for posting these pictures and letting the world know that we're going to be getting some awesome stuff in the near future. So let's jump straight into this. So right now in the Phantom Corpse line, we have the Phantom Corpse Apollo and the Hera. So those are the two blasters that are target exclusive and it looks like we're going to be getting a couple more in the form of the Helios and the Kronos, which you guys will probably recognize. So let's talk about the Helios first. This is going to be a brand new blaster within the Phantom Corpse line. On first glance, it kind of looks like an Apollo, kind of looks like a Hera, but it's a brand new blaster. And one thing I'm really excited about, reading the Blaster Hub article and looking at the photos myself, it looks like this is going to be pretty much an upgraded Apollo. The Helios might fix some of the problems with the Apollo that many people did not like. First First of all, when you look at this, I really did like this blaster, I still really like this blaster, but the prying mechanism was probably the thing that really turned a lot of people off. Of course, it takes a lot of strength to pull back and pull forward versus a regular nerf and strike elite blaster, and this priming mechanism wasn't very comfortable at all. The stock wasn't very comfortable, it didn't contour into your shoulder whatsoever, and it looks like Hasbro is going to try to fix some of that with the Helios. So we have a side priming mechanism instead, looks like it's going to be a circular shape, so it'll be very comfortable to hold and it's going to be on both sides of the blaster so thank you so much I'm a left-handed guy so that's going to be very helpful for me if I ever get this blaster if you take a look at this it has a very comfortable looking stock and it's going to be curved as well so that should be a lot better than this stupid downward slanted stock that the Apollo had so overall I'm looking forward to this blaster and if we scroll down from the blaster hub article here we have another picture of the Helios in action this time and do you guys recognize this blaster yep this is a blaster that was announced this year at the Hasbro Toy Fair, but it had a very different paint job. This is the Deadpool rival Kronos, and I am a little disappointed. I had a small sliver of hope, hoping that this blaster was going to stay a Deadpool exclusive, but knowing Hasbro, they're going to try to make as much money as possible by making it more accessible and cheaper within the Phantom Corpse line. Because what we know about this blaster right now is that it's going to be a two blaster kit, and it's going to be in a collector's edition thing, which is super awesome. It's going to be exclusive to GameStop and Best Buy, and it's going to have a heftier price of 60 USD. As a huge Marvel fan, I love Deadpool, I love Nerf guns, I love collector's things, so this item is totally perfect for me, and it makes sense to release this within the Phantom Corpse line, because not everyone's going to like Deadpool or want two Kronos, so this is going to be a cheaper option, but it's probably still going to be expensive, since what we've seen so far within the Phantom Corpse line, the fact that everything is a little more expensive, the Phantom Corpse Apollo, 10 more bucks compared to the original Apollo. Speaking of the Kronos, right now we know it's going to be a smaller size compact pistol, it's it's going to be breach system and it can hold up to five rival rounds. It's definitely no nemesis but I'm still very excited to get my hands on this and I do dig the Phantom Corpse paint scheme, so I think this will look very nice as well. Who knows, since this blaster is within the Phantom Corpse line, maybe it'll have a different name. Okay, moving on to some more nerf news, we have another leaked blaster, this time within the AccuStrike series. This is the nerf and strike elite AccuStrike quadrant, and at first glance we see that it's going to have a 4 dart rotating barrel, attack rail on the top, a priming mechanism very similar to the one that the Fire Strike has, and it's going to be a compact blaster. This is just a hunch, I can't really tell from this photo but I have a feeling this blaster is going to be a lot bigger than people think because just looking at this kid the way he's holding it this definitely doesn't look like the size of a jolt or a triad whatsoever it's quite possible that it could be a little bulkier than that maybe a little smaller than the hammer shot but I really can't say anything until we see it if this blaster is really bulky I don't see this being worth getting at all with only four shots here's a sentence that really got me thinking blaster hub said I'm not too sure if people are really excited about a four dart revolver which really got me thinking yeah like what's the point of having a revolver when all four darts are so close to each other you could just make this a smart AR system like the triad just have each dart come out of their individual barrels a revolver would be the most useful for like a judge for example where you have a circle of darts such a large diameter that you don't want smart AR because the darts will just 
supposed to be coming from the left, right, top, and bottom. It's harder to aim like that. But with the darts so close together, there really isn't a point of this being a revolver. But of course, knowing Hasbro, they're going to try to invent and reinvent blasters we've already seen. So this is going to be the very first four dart revolver with this type of priming mechanism. So I have mixed feelings about this blaster as well. I'm not a big fan of this priming handle. I would much rather see something like the hammer shot or a priming mechanism like the strong arm. This blaster is probably going to be no more than 20 USD, I would guess anywhere between 10 to 15 USD, but we'll see. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, leave your thoughts down below. What do you guys think about these blasters? If you're interested in buying your own Nerf gear, you can use my links down below in the description. And if you want to see my full Nerf playlist, make sure you click the card right up there and check out these other videos on the screen. Once again, thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one.